Welcome. We thank you for watching this video. We hope you will get something out of it. This video is entitled, Is Chicken Clean or Unclean? And that is the question according to the Bible. We have many people who are in the churches today, where most of the Most High's people congregate. They are under the impression that chicken is clean. My name is Anthony Vegetarian James, and I will be able to disprove that myth, whether or not it's true or it's not true. So follow me along with this video and hopefully we'll be able to see whether or not it's true, whether or not it is fact that chicken is unclean. We'll be using the Holy Bible as they say, but we'll use the King James 1611 which has the Apocrypha inside of it. We're going to come from 1st Ezra's and from Ecclesiasticus in the 1611 King James. Now the name chicken is mentioned in the Ezra and in the book of according to Matthew. We know we have to, it says, prove all things. So we're going to prove these things. Now the stereotype of the African American and chicken has been going through for many years. At least 120 years. We have been in love with this bird and others have used it, depicted us as just associated with chicken and also watermelon. So the chicken is the red jungle fowl. It's originally from Asia 3200 years ago, 3200 BC. Modern day chicken is a hybrid fowl. It's domesticated and fattened for food. The modern day chicken is hybrid, but also it's been used as a tool to gather people as a feast. Now, the way it's prepared is one thing, but we want to find out whether or not this food is good. We've been portrayed as peoples who are gluttonous according to other nations and we depicted in many shows especially there's a movie called birth of a nation where they picked of many african americans uh, biting to chicken and other things of that nature the movies are made in 1915 you can see this uh, uh movie the title of the cover in proverbs chapter 28 verse 36 it says the people my people shall be cursed as in Deuteronomy. Uh, in this video you'll see that they are depicted in the movie called Undercover Brother. How chicken is so used, the chicken is so used that our brothers and sisters have become accustomed to I want you to buy my new fried chicken that is show enough. I used to work for the Pentagon, now I help you to get your chicken on. And for a limited time only, order an eight-piece nappy meal and get a 32-ounce malt liquor absolutely free. You be buying, yeah, yeah, we be frying. The Nappy Meal from GFC. This chicken is the bomb. At the General's, we do chicken right on. You look at that. The General's lost his damn mind. Making a fool out of himself over this crap. General's fried chicken. Yeah, I, I was in Mississippi. I was in Mississippi doing a show, and I go to a restaurant to order some food, and, uh, I say to the guy, I say, I would like to have, and before I even finish my sentence, he says, the chicken. There are faces that have made with us, big lips and teeth, and uh, with the expression of just a gluttonous expression that's coming from us. They've made posters uh, associating us with chicken, Chicken George from Roots, Deuteronomy 28 verse 37 again. We love the bird so much, and the love continues. Our president, the king, is tearing into this bird. Even thinking what harm can be done with us. Some say just eat and pray over it. Pray over it and eat. In Job chapter 14 verse 4, who can make unclean clean? No one. Chicken breast is full of fat and it causes problems on your body. The Most High do not want us to eat fats, as he says. He says, learn not the ways of the heathen. Do not follow the ways of the heathen. Leviticus 11 has the laws. 
And in that chapter, chapter 11, it will describe the clean and unclean flesh. That is not the dietary law, but the clean law of clean and unclean. We have the night hawk. We have the salmon, herbivore. We have the shrimp, which is an unclean animal. It's a sea roach. We have the fish with fins and scales, tilapia, in its, in its natural environment. That is a clean fish. It must have fins and scales. In Leviticus chapter 11, verse 9. We have a list of unclean foods in, on the laws in Deuteronomy 14, verse 3 to 20. So we'll be able to see as we read which animals are clean, which animals are unclean. The laws have been put there for our health and our safety. So we must stick to what is given to us as a guideline for us. Leviticus 11, we're going to start at Leviticus 11, verse, Leviticus 11, verse 13. It says, And these are they which you shall have in abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. The eagle, and the osprey, and the osprey, and the vulture, and the kite after his kind, every raven after his kind, verse 16, and the owl, and the night hawk, and the kukro, and the hawk after his kind, and the little owl, and the comorant, and the great owl, verse 18, and the swan, and the pelican, and the gear eagle, verse 19, and the stork, the heron after her kind, and the latwing, and the bat. Verse 20, all fowls that creep going upon all four shall be an abomination unto you. Now this is where we will determine what is clean as a bird and unclean. Going up on all fours, we're going to explain what going up on all fours is saying. The red jungle fowl known as the gallius is one of the species of modern day chicken originated from Southeast Asia in about 3200 BC. Our modern day chicken comes from that species of the jungle fowl, also known as the gallus. It was hybrid bird put together from two different birds as a domesticated fowl for food. It did not happen naturally through nature. Nature did not create that bird. This bird eats worms, insects, grains, and anything you put in front of it. It is what we call an omnivore. Omni means all. He eats anything. Modern day, we call that, the slaves call that the jungle fowl. What we call the jungle fowl, we call it the yard bird. The etymology of the word chicken, the name chicken, comes from the Old English cicern means a young fowl and also in the Middle English it was called a young chicken so today the word chick hen means a young hen the male chicken aka rooster he is a walking fowl the modern day chicken his ancestors is the gallius fowl turkey is another family of the chicken he is an omnivore he walks Leviticus 11:20. the chicken the young fowl continues in our culture this is part of our culture and we also call it a cock and a crow at the rooster remember this is just modern day terminology of the word fowl again chicken do not fly so he has to lay their eggs on the ground as referenced in Job chapter 39 verse 13 Job 39 verse 13 reads Gaveth you the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leave her eggs in the earth and warm them in the dust, and forget that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones, as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear, because the Most High has deprived her of wisdom. Neither has he imparted to her understanding. So they cannot, as we see, they cannot fly. They have to bury their eggs in the ground. All walking birds bury their eggs in the ground. Here's another example of another bird that flies that's unclean. In Job chapter 39 verse 26. Do the hawk fly by his wisdom? 
and stretch her wings towards the south. Do the eagle mount up at thy command and make her nest on high? Because they fly and put their eggs up in the cleft of the rock. And I'll read, continue verse 28. She dwell and abide on the rock, upon the crag of the rock, and the strong place. From thence she seek the prey, and her eyes behold afar off. Her young ones also suck up blood, and where the slain are, there is she. And it's telling you that they are, the type of eaters they are, they're what we call a carnivore, flesh eaters. We use the Strong's Concordance for referencing the Hebrew meaning of the words that we find in the English Bible, King James example that we are using. For example, the word foul, Strong's number 5775. In Hebrew, the English spelling is O-P-H. And that word, O-P-H, o -P -H, its meaning, it means to fly, flying creatures. Flying creatures is what this particular word means. And examples of this are a bird that flies flying fowl. So these is the example of that word that's being given to us from the Hebrew. Another Strong's number is Strong's number 702. English Hebrew spelling is A-R-B-A-R-B-A, -A -A -B -A, meaning flying fowl bird. Well, we know examples of flying birds, turtle dove, pigeons, hawk, raven. These are birds that fly. Feet. Strong's number 7272. The Hebrew English spelling is regal, meaning foot. Leviticus 11 verse 20. All fowls that creep going upon all four shall be an abomination unto you. So the word four and feet is 7272. It just means foot because fowls do not have four feet. It's talking about foot. And if you look at their foot, they have three front grippers or toes and one in the back. They have four. That's what it's mentioning. That's what it's talking about. He's a walker. The chicken, the ostrich, the rhea, the dodo bird, the emu, penguin, these all have the same type of feet. In Leviticus chapter 11, verse 20, it says, all fowls that creep. Now the word creep, Strong's number 8318, 8318, the Hebrew word is charrettes, meaning creeping, moving. And the word, it means to move or to walk. So these walking birds, what they do is move. And the word creeping means to move. Here is an example of what creeping is. If you, we go to Leviticus chapter 11, verse 29. Leviticus 11, verse 29, for an example of what creeping means, means to walk. It says, These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep upon the earth, the weasel, the mouse, and the tortoise after his kind, the ferret, the camelon, the lizard, the snail, and the mole. That's an example of things that creep or walk or move. So we see so far that the, that the dove, the attributes of the dove is going to be a little different than the attributes of a chicken. Or a raven, because the dove have two attributes that make him clean. How do we know what's a clean fowl? We can offer up clean fowls unto the Most High. Let's see what determines a clean fowl. Leviticus chapter 1, verse 14. Leviticus chapter 1, verse 14 says, And if the burnt sacrifice for his offering to the Most High be of fowls, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves or of young pigeons. You may ask, what are the attributes of a young dove or pigeon? The attributes are these two. One, they fly, and the other, that they are herbivores. They are not omnivores, they are herbivores. Now, even though these birds are clean, many of us would not eat a young pigeon, but we would eat a quail. So quail, as is in the book of Numbers, that flew in, those birds are clean birds. The attributes of a clean bird, again, it must fly, and it must be only an herbivore. And the Most High gave the children of Israel quail while they're in the wilderness, when they were hungry, while they desired flesh. In the book of Numbers, chapter 11, verse 31, 
This is an example of clean birds that the Father gave the children of Israel while they in the wilderness, while they craved flesh. It says, And there went forth a wind from the Most High, and brought quails from the sea, and let them fall by the camp, as it were a day's journey on the side, and as it were a day's journey on the other side, round about the camp, as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. And the people stood up all that day and all that night and all the next day and they gathered the quails he that gathered least gathered ten homers so the quail has attributes of a clean bird and the father would not give his children defiled flesh now the pigeons in the hood or wherever you are if they only knew that you know now that they could be eaten they wouldn't be hanging around <laughs> they wouldn't be hanging around there is a facial different the beaks on the herbivores or straight where the beaks on the well, omnivores are a little rounded so they can pick up it's like a on their face that beak is hooked a woodchucker his beak is straight for example chucking wood it's just an example I'm not saying you can eat a woodchucker here is a visual example of a young edible bird fowl eating grains again you have to have the attributes of a clean bird Clean birds eating herbs. All clean birds eat herbs. Where did Noah get this law of understanding? Even before the laws were given to the Israelites in the wilderness, the law says in Genesis chapter 7, verse 2 to verse 5, it says, Of every clean beast you shall take to thee by seven the male and his female, and the beasts that are not clean by two the male and his female of fowls also of the air by sevens the male and her female to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth for yet seven days and it will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights and every living substance that i have made will i destroy from thence the face of the earth i know it did according to all that the most high commanded him so again we know the peacock is a walking bird beautiful bird but he's a walker I've heard people tell me that they've seen the peacock fly, but a peacock cannot sustain flight. I hope this lesson has been clear to you to show you the difference between clean and unclean fowls, as in Leviticus 11 verse 20. All fowls that creep, that go in all four, is unclean, and it's an abomination unto you. Shalom.